Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. This morning we're at the Chateau and we're doing some maintenance to the Chateau grounds. Dad, Rick and Steve are helping us. They're cutting the hedges down the driveway. But in a moment I want to pop down the Builders Merchant and get a load of shingle just to scatter on the driveway of the Chateau because the old shingle is looking a little bit dirty and a little bit tired. So we're going to do that in a moment and then after we've done the driveway we're going to go in the Chateau and start doing some decorations. So it's gonna be a good fun video, so let's crack on. Right, I've never done this before. The back of the transit tipper, I'm going to have out just a little bit, just enough that as I tip and drive, a small amount is falling out while I'm driving to try and spread it out easily. I've seen it done before with bigger lorries. I'm just hoping that it falls out nicely without going everywhere. So we can always adjust this later on. But if I just put that like this, and then around like that. Yeah, that might work. I reckon there's a fine art to this. Okay. Are you going to keep an eye on it, Brian, yeah? Yeah. If you keep an eye on it, Brian. When I start hearing it fall. So that worked very well, but we ran out really quickly. I mean, look, we've only got like half the driveway done, so we need to go and get another load. <laughs> okay. I was gonna have a quick look though, but yeah, I mean, we could rake some out a little bit to the sides as well, but isn't the color nicer? I think it looks much nicer. We're back, round two, we've got a second load on. So let's see if, let's see how far we can get with it, because I'm pretty sure we probably need three or even four loads. So, you know, this job, this morning I thought, yeah, it'd be one load, we'll just drive up the driveway, it'd be fine. It's never that simple, is it? Right. I'm ready. I'm ready.
Okay, so I think it's definitely four loads today, not one, which I originally said. But it's looking good, isn't it, Ryan? What do you think? Yes, it's looking good. It's just a lot of work. <laughs> Third load now, and I'm hoping that it reaches the chateau. So let's see how far we get. I think we had a slight issue at one point where it stopped coming out. I think it was too steep. But yeah, it looks okay. I just need to rake it out a little bit now and it, it will look fantastic. Much more tidier, I think. I'm not going to get any more, otherwise it's just overkill. If I keep getting more, I'm going to have to do the whole lot and I don't want to do that. curtains are now all finished. Alexander did an amazing job. We haven't hung them yet, but all the permits are currently up. So in preparation for this Halloween party, we're clearing out the entire room and taking all the equipment out that Alexander used for creating these beautiful curtains. So we're starting with the tables and bits and bobs. So let's crack on. <laughs> This is going to be the bar area. Oh, people can serve from this side, and people can come here to collect some drinks. It's not very big, but it's fine. Are you alright? Yep, yeah, still fine. We have evicted Alexander from this room. We've cleared it out, we've cleaned it, we've mopped the floor and it looks fantastic. Alexander just wants to ruffle a few curtains, he said, and we're gonna hang them up. So I'm looking forward to seeing that finished because it's been a long time coming. He's been doing curtains for about four months now. Um, what next? This room's gonna be used as a dance floor. Um, we're gonna put speakers up the end of the room with some lights, it's gonna be good fun. It's about 50 square meters, this room, so it's a huge room and it's perfect for a bit of a party. So yeah, what next? What next we gotta do? I can't even talk properly. <laughs> this piece of furniture behind me, I actually bought about two years before we bought the chateau. I didn't know we were buying a chateau at the time, but I saw it in a local antique shop, or I think it was actually a charity shop, um, and it was 200 euros, very expensive, but I knew the moment I saw it that I wanted it. So I bought it and We've actually brought it up from the basement today. We've never actually put it in any of the rooms before. 
Um, it was been in storage in the basement for quite a few years now. And Gwen wanted it in this room because now we've got the big billiards table, we've now got something to put drinks in. So it looks really nice. That's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've got a Q&A coming up in a future video, and I would like you to ask some questions um, because, you know, it makes it so much easier if you put some really good, interesting, juicy questions in the comment section. And yeah, we will read them and we'll do our very best to try and reply to them all. Um, also, I've got a request, um, the bell. I want to name the bell. We need to find a really good name for the bell. Um, so yeah, comment away in the comment section and just give us your ideas and we'll read them and we will probably choose one of the comments to name the bell. So that's gonna be a great thing to do. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow.